This nugget will cover the fundamentals of software performance baselining as it pertains to CyberArk EPM's agent. By the end of this video, you should understand how to establish a performance baseline on your endpoints before and after installing an EPM agent. This will aid in troubleshooting potential performance issues that could occur. Let's start with a defining performance baselining. Performance in computing is typically measured with CPU, memory, disk I.O., and network utilization. Baselining is capturing these measurements for use in comparisons of various states of software. Why is this important? Let's take a look. When introducing any new agent, especially a security agent to an environment, we should be thinking about how it impacts performance on the endpoint. One key impact is identifying potential for resource conflicts with other security solutions on the endpoint. Another key impact is identifying where EPM policies may affect performance. If we install that EPM agent without performing a performance baseline test, then we don't have reputable data to compare against. Instead, we have to rely on anecdotal and subjective feedback such as, it seems slower. Let's now talk about how to perform and establish a baseline. There are four states typically used to measure performance baselining. Idle is the state of a computer where there is currently no user interaction. Only automatic OS processes are taking place. You will want to measure the CPU, memory, disk I.O., and network utilization as a snapshot in time. Normal use is the state of a computer where there is normal user interaction with apps pertinent to their role in addition to automatic OS processes. Again, you should measure the CPU, memory, disk I.O., and network utilization as a snapshot over a set period of time and record the average. Idle with EPM is the state of a computer where there is currently no user interaction. EPM is installed and running and automatic OS processes are taking place. If we observe negative deltas when in this state, then this is commonly a conflict with another agent or security service. Normal use with EPM is the state of a computer where that EPM agent is initially installed and has normal user interaction with apps pertinent to their role in addition to automatic OS processes. Again, measure CPU, memory, disk I.O., network utilization as an average over a set period of time. Common causes of performance deltas at this stage are applications that create lots of files over a short period of time, such as compilers. Next, we should analyze the results by learning how to establish a performance baseline. Look for deltas between each state, such as idle versus idle with EPM installed or normal use versus normal use with EPM installed. If there's significant performance change between the two, then look for what has changed between the states. Some common examples include mutual exclusions, policy configuration within EPM, or applications that are creating a lot of files. Let's look at compiling as an example. With this use case, EPM is trying to tag all of the files so we can understand their source. To remedy this, you will want to add applications exclusions. For Windows, you will add developer apps you want to exclude to the special application group developer application. For Macs, you will add application exclusions to the agent configuration under the Advanced tab. If you encounter some of these performance issues, one of the first step is to isolate the underlying issue. A suggestion is to start troubleshooting. Begin by suspending policies. After suspension of policies, if you see the performance return to levels similar to normal or idle use, then you can safely assume there's a policy conflict somewhere that should be resolved. Now let's review a few examples of some common tools that could be used in performance monitoring. Bear in mind that there are several, but this should be a good start. For Windows, use Performance Monitor. For Mac, use Activity Monitor. We hope this nugget has assisted in getting started with understanding performance baselines and their uses within EPM.